name is Aina Danjuma Chukweke. I was born on the 9th of September 1988, which makes me 30 years old this year. My father comes from Uwari in Igbo State, my mother from Bida in Niger State. I was born in Uwari in Delta State. I grew up in Lagos and in Port Harcourt, and I went to secondary school in Abuja. So when people ask me where I'm from, I often simply tell them I'm a Nigerian. I'm currently an assistant superintendent of police with the Nigeria Police Force, and I'm serving in Enugu State. If I were fortunate enough to be selected for the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship Program, I would like to work with the Canada State's Ministry of Justice. This is for a number of reasons, but I'll try and explain just a few. Firstly, the Ministry of Justice is charged with all matters of law, as family, civil, criminal matters. As a lawyer, I'm already conversant with the legal justice system in Nigeria. And as a police officer, I'm on the front lines of citizens' interactions with the justice system. With my exposure and knowledge base, I feel I'll be able to contribute meaningfully to the Ministry. I look forward to working with the, the Office of the Attorney General of Canada State in its role prosecuting crime on behalf of the state. As an experienced litigator, I'm eager to contribute to and learn from the State Council's team. Additionally, Kaduna State recently passed into law the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. This is a progressive step that I hope all other states in the Federation will follow, as unifying and updating our criminal procedure laws is of the utmost importance in Nigeria. Thirdly, the Ministry of Justice is charged with improving justice delivery through working with stakeholders. In line with the spirit of fellowship at the heart of this program, I am confident that as a law enforcement officer, I will benefit tremendously from the networking opportunities provided by the Ministry of Justice. And in turn, these stakeholders may be able to benefit from networking with a police officer. I could go on, but suffice to say, the Ministry of Justice is where I would gain the most and where I would be able to make the most meaningful contribution as a part of this program. What inspires you? This is a very tough question. I'm inspired every day by my mother and by my father. I'm inspired by a patriotic zeal and a sense of duty. I'm inspired by the achievements of Nigerians all over the world. But I think what actually motivates me is a stubborn belief that every problem has a solution. I love Nigeria, but there is a sense of hopelessness in this country, a belief that our problems are insurmountable, but only divine intervention can save us. I'm inspired to counter these ideas. I am motivated to show how objective, honest, knowledge-based reasoning can actually solve our problems as individuals and as a society. This is what fuels my curiosity, my thirst for knowledge. This is what fuels my desire to be a part of this program. My academic studies, my work experiences so far, have all been done with a view to gaining the knowledge and developing the skills that will enable me to be part of the solution. Ultimately, this is what inspired me to become a police officer. Yes, I want to help people. Yes, I want to serve my nation. But beyond that, police is perhaps the only truly national institution we have in this nation. It has allowed me to see our country, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And in so doing, develop tools and ideas that may help to solve our nation's problems. My name is Abimbola Kafil Adetunji. I am 30 years old and I am from Oyo State. If selected, I would like to work in education for two specific reasons. One, because education is key to nation building. Of the total number of students enrolled in schools, public education serves at least 70%. This means that if government doesn't manage schools properly, we will produce educated illiterates that are unable to contribute to the growth to. Eventually, these are the people that become internet fraudsters, prostitutes, area boys, kidnappers, and in recent times, terrorists. On the upside, there's no Nigerian problem that quality education cannot solve. If we manage education properly and create a great learning environment that impacts 21, 21st century skills, such as critical thinking and problem, problem solving, to these 7 out of 10 children, the possibilities are endless. We can engineer nation builders that will build the old waste places and make Nigeria truly the giant of Africa. I want to contribute to building this nation. The second reason why I would like to work in education is for my own personal self-fulfillment. I believe I can make a difference and therefore I want to. My engineering background at Shell has shown me the gains that can be recorded with a continuous improvement approach. My education policy background from Harvard has shown me what is possible with education and what has been done. And so I ask, how wonderful would it be if these worlds were to combine to produce a better managed education system? This is what I want to do. I want to make an impact, to bridge the policy practice gap and ensure that every Nigerian child receives a quality basic education as a right. Personally, I have set a goal to impact at least 20,000 student and teacher lives during the one-year fellowship period.
I will get, gather data on the education interventions in Kaduna State and assess their impact. Combining these with researched and proven policies and practices from other areas, along with the innovative ideas that myself and fellow fellowship participants will prefer, I plan to develop a formula for education success that is easily replicable and continually evolving. What inspires me? The possibility of more for myself and for others. This is what inspires me. Helping a friend improve her business revenue by a thousand percent in six months makes me wonder where her business will be in another six months. Completing a nine minute walk in eight minutes and a half excites me. It fills me with the wonder of what I can achieve tomorrow. Better, that's what inspires me. My name is Ali Suleiman here from Zaria local government of Kaduna State. I am 29 years old and I would like to work with the agricultural sector of the government because I'm a passionate and a practicing farmer. And I want youths like me to begin to see agriculture as one of the most paying occupations because it has contributed very greatly to the development and growth of our country. And since food is the most basic need of man, relegating the agricultural sector to the background will continue to cause hardship and jeopardize the security of the country if we don't do something about it. But now that the government of the day is very passionate about making agriculture a very big business, I would like to be part of the system that will help in revitalizing the agricultural sector. And lastly, it will be imperative if we begin to see the agricultural sector as another source of revenue, since the oil prices in the world market is very much uncertain. And I'm being inspired by wanting to revive the dignity and prestige of being a farmer in Nigeria. And I believe if youths like me will come to embrace agriculture, we can take Nigeria to the next level. As a, go as a saying goes by Daniel Webster, let's not forget that the cultivation of the earth is the most important job of man. The let's begin and the arts follow. Therefore, the farmers are the founders of civilization. Thank you. My name is Jemima Jato, or you can call me Jay. I am 28 years old from Kaduna State, Nigeria. When selected to be on the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship Program, I would like to work with the Ministry of Rural and Community Development and the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism. I have always had a passion for rural development and the role of media in positively representing and achieving it. I believe that every community and state has the potential to be self-sustaining if only they develop their own homegrown talents and resources. My passion dates back to my years at ABU Zaria, where I headed the school magazine as editor-in-chief and we published the story on the growing spate of Almagiri in northern Nigeria. As part of my final year requirements with BSc in MassCom, I researched on the extent of local content production on Nigeria TV, TV stations with the aim of analyzing the airing of local content and how it promotes development. My desire for an all-inclusive drive for development inspired me to research on the role of women in national development for my MSc dissertation at the University of Abuja. As regards tourism, I have over the years discovered that the industry has one of the largest capacities for growth and diversification of the Nigerian economy. Should the government of Kaduna State take keen interest and invest adequately in it, the, re the return on investment is huge and measurable. Take for instance the huge potential of tourism in Saminaka, Nok, Bara, Kajuru and Zaria City. These areas have a large capacity to bring in internally generated revenue to the state. I believe that as a Kashim Ibrahim Fellow and working alongside industry drivers, I will contribute to the design, implementation and monitoring of relevant policies that will propel economic, social and political growth in Kaduna State and Nigeria as a whole. My inspiration, growing up, my sense of adventure was what inspired me. The experience of discovering life outside my environment, especially as can be found through traveling. Today, however, I am inspired by integrity and quality leadership, especially as was exemplified by Nigeria's founding fathers. The selflessness, dedication and drive with which they fought and negotiated Nigeria's independence is inspiring. I am also inspired by rich cultures and the harmony of race, of love and, to and tolerance, irrespective of race, of tribe, of social strata, and especially religion that has become such a sensitive subject in today's world.
Thank you in anticipation for my acceptance. My name is Jemima Jato. Good day. My name is Rebecca Maulo Mekwadunu, age 26, from Lagos State. If selected for the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship Program, the area of government I would like to work is women affairs and social development. The reason is this. I am concerned about the welfare of women and girls. I have always been. It hurts to hear to see women go through some difficult situations. Some of them are neglected, some are not empowered, and really it bothers me. I would like to be part of a working system that is dedicated to improving the lives of women, girls, and children. Also in the past, I've been part of programs and projects that were women-centered, so I would like to follow through. Personally, I want to see girls remain in school, uh, avoid unwanted pregnancies, and of course, take up a few life-saving skills. For what inspires me, humanity, there is a whole lot of love going around, love for people. Every day I see, hear, read about help, charity, selfless acts, empathy. All these are love oriented. Whenever I hear about someone helping others to stand tall, when I hear about someone who is, some, who is somewhere standing on behalf of others, advocating for them, whenever I hear about someone who is trying to make life better for others, I am inspired. For me, humanity is activation because it triggers me. Hello and good morning. I'm Musa Mohamed Kona, a lecturer with the Department of Human Anatomy, Ahmed Bell University, Zaria. I was born on the 1st of March, 1987. I'm 31 years, 2 months, and 5 days old. Exactly. I'm an indigenous of Kaduna State, Zaria local government to be precise. I wish to improve my leadership skills in the areas of academics and politics. Uh, what inspired me is actually the amazing talent displayed by the governor and his cabinet in transforming Kaduna State. For instance, Kaduna State has just celebrated its centenary anniversary, but for over 97 years, Kaduna State has no logo, no visible or accessible website, and also Kaduna State uh, has many accounts. But with the advent of this government, Kaduna State now has a logo for easy identification, it has a very accessible website where information can be tracked and it also introduced the Treasury Single Account that helps to curtail corruption and fish out ghost workers. Kaduna State tried to manage spendings by reducing or merging some ministries together and also introduction of some agencies like the Kaduna State Investment and prom Promotion Agency, like the Kaduna State Traffic and Law Enforcement Agency, like the Kaduna State Geographic Information Service. Uh, it also tried immediately as it come on board, it declared state of emergency on our education sector, like the teacher's competency exam, in order to fish out unqualified teachers. As someone who attended public primary school and secondary school, I know how the tremendous benefits that the children of the less privileged stand to gain from this. Kaduna State has also tried a lot in, order in the primary school feeding, uh, the school uniform, the declaration of free universal basic education. This will also help the poor masses. Then also Kaduna State try to introduce the electronic voting machine for the first time. And this is a clear indication that we have leaders that can forecast that have a lot of focus, a lot of leadership experience. Uh, also, Kaduna State tried to network our roads, lightening of our roads, and even installation of some CC closed circuit television or surveillance camera in order to actually curtail some social vices, kidnapping and robbery. There are a lot of amazing experience I wish to gain from this. That is why I aspire to be part of the Kashim Ibrahim Fellows in order to become instrumental to my community, the Kaduna State, my nation at large. Thank you very much. Long live Kaduna State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
a very very good day to you. My name is Michael Medubi. I am 33 years old and my state of origin actually reads Kogi State. However, I like to tell people that since I was born in Kaduna, I've had all my education in Kaduna, I still live in Kaduna. It is very easy to understand what part of the country I connect with more as a person. Now, if I were to be picked for the Kashim Ibrahim Fellows, the aspect of government in which I would like to work would be centered around communication and correspondence. And this comes in spite of the fact that my primary qualification is in civil engineering. And I choose this area because all through my education and my work life, it is the aspect in which I have received the most acclaim for an uncanny ability to present communication and correspondence in a clear and compelling manner. And all through the years I have realized that my tendencies, my talents, my inclinations and my leanings lead me to this area because it is the aspect in which I find the most fulfillment and I do my best work. Now for the things that inspire me, I have chosen three key areas and the first would be a sense of connection. I have always thrived in a group where I have sensed a body of shared values, a sense of commonality, a sense of communality through which we can push forward together towards a good cause, a noble goal. It always gets my motivation at its very highest and that is the first of things that I would say inspires me. And the second thing that inspires me, I would say, is a commitment and a dedication to continuous learning and development. I always jump at the chance to learn and to develop myself and I relish the prospect of a new challenge. It always gets me going and gets me really inspired. The third thing that I would say inspires me is a commitment to the prospect of excellent work. Whenever I find myself in a place where there is the possibility of doing something worthwhile in every respect, of bringing out something excellent, it gets my creative juices flowing and I tend to do my best in such environments. And just as a bonus, I am inspired by history, a sense of history, a sense of good tradition and an opportunity to keep in line with such history and such tradition is something that inspires me greatly. And with that, I conclude this video and I say thank you very much for the opportunity and I do hope to share some correspondence with you in the near future. Thank you and goodbye. Good evening. My name is Dr. Tasu Ibrahim. I'm 35 years old from Kaduna State. I'm a medical doctor and lecturer with Amadou Bello University, Zaria. I train medical students and paramedics. I'm also a health entrepreneur. Relatively, I have a good understanding of the health issues and challenges of Kaduna State. Health is essentially my domain professionally. But aside that, from the opinion of people that watch and listen to my TV and radio programs across the state, they believe I'm able to communicate my messages to their understanding. If I have the opportunity to interface between the government and the people, I believe I should be able to communicate to their understanding. What inspires me is anything that widens my horizon, enhances my capability for greater impact. And I believe the Kashim Ibrahim Fellows Program is one of such that will continue to keep me inspired. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ravi Usman Amin. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Adamawa State. I'm a graduate of biochemistry from Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria. If selected for the Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship Program, I would like to work in the health sector. This is because I studied biochemistry as an undergraduate and the health sector would be the appropriate sector for me to work in. Also, I have a particular interest in nutrition, which is one of the courses I took as an undergraduate. This program would give me an opportunity to work with more experienced personnel and it will also give me an opportunity to reach out to the society, especially children and expectant mothers with special nutritional requirements. Also, my previous job as a medical sales representative uh, gave me the opportunity to work on a daily basis with doctors, pharmacists and other healthcare practitioners.
My inspiration is my desire to reach out to the society. I have always felt the need to make an impact in the society, especially in children. So whenever I hear about or see children with special requirements, whether nutritional or health-wise, I always feel the need to help them and always wish to be in a position to be able to make a change in their lives. This program would give me an opportunity to do just that. I would be honored to be a Kashim Ibrahim fellow and I look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you very much and goodbye. Hello, my name is Muhammad Wajla Osman. I'm 29 years old. My state of origin is Kaduna. If given this opportunity, I want to work in the area of planning and budgeting with emphasis on planning. Growing up as a child, I've always wanted my things properly planned and well sorted out and that has always worked out for me. <coughs> this has been always a passion for me. <coughs> Most states and in fact Nigeria lacks a proper system for planning. We hardly collect data, our decisions are instantaneous without giving regards to short or long term consequences. <coughs> Recently, Kaduna State has been championing this area of planning and then we have seen that manifested in, it, in the results recorded and also in the way and manner it uh, planned and executed its projects. Planning department or unit or agency of every government is one of its important focal points because it prioritizes, because it uses data, it uses data to make decisions or to, to plan which the government will use in making its decisions easily in prioritizing and then also making sure everybody is on the same page. <coughs> If given this opportunity, I intend to learn the necessary or core skills needed for this for this task and then use it to add value in the government or in governance at the same time <coughs> add value to the citizens of Kaduna State. So I, I hope by the time I'm finishing this program for the one year I will be a better and Hello there. My name is Dorcas Kadangs. I'm twenty nine years old and I'm from Kwai Java local government in Kaduna State. If selected to be part of this program, the area of government that I would like to work with is the Commission for Health. I have a background in the sciences with a bachelor's degree in biology and also a master's degree in public health. I've worked in various capacities in both NGOs and governmental um, organizations, both in Nigeria and um, in the U.S., so I believe that I have a wealth of knowledge and skills and experiences that would be a great addition to the program. I'm inspired by many things. Uh, one of the things that inspires me is uh, when I see individuals who come from very difficult backgrounds and circumstances who are able to transcend um, those circumstances to make something of themselves and are beneficial and become beneficial members of society and help those around them. And when they give back to the communities to make sure that other people who are coming up um, don't have to face the same challenges that they did uh, and make um, their little corner of the world a better place. Um, those kinds of stories inspires me um, and to look at my life and to see um, in what ways I can make a difference in my community as well. Um, I'm also inspired by communities who um, are facing challenges but who don't wait for the answers to come from outside when they take up the mantle on themselves because um, each community has its own unique struggles and um, problems. So when the community members themselves uh, come together to look for solutions, I'm inspired by that because that is where lasting change comes from. When community members have a stake in their own progress and in solving their own problems, it is sustainable and um, that is where we see true change um, come from the, from the ground up. Um, I'm also inspired by young people who um, are uh, who take up the, the mantle of leadership, uh, who believe that change starts with themselves um, and become the change that they wish to see in the world. I am inspired when I see young people in leadership positions, um, not just in government, but in other aspects, um, in, in industries as well, who are making change, who take up um, leadership roles and who are not afraid, um, who, who um, are willing to make the sacrifice that is required for real and lasting change to come about. Um, young people who are doing those kinds of things, um, change makers, change agents, um, inspire me as well. And those are the inspirations that kind of guide and govern my life and decisions that I make. 
Um, I would like to end with thanking you for taking the time to listen to uh, me talk about myself and for reviewing my application. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. My name is Abdul Hakim Muhammad Miku. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Kaduna State, Nigeria. If selected for Kashim Ibrahim Fellowship Program, I will go for the education program simply because the mandatory education program serves as an important aspect of the fellowship program, which is uh, intended to augment and enhance uh, the work placement uh, experience to also learn new values and ethics which are also components of the uh, uh, of the learning experience uh, to also learn domestic and international policy strips uh, the, this will also uh, give me an exposure uh, of meeting renowned leaders from the uh, public and the private sectors and to also enhance my my understanding as well as experience of public service uh, to also study government policies, which is at the heart of uh, the education program, uh, to also travel throughout uh, Nigeria to study a uh, range of issues such as education, healthcare system, delivery, transportation, security, um, economic development, energy, as well as local governance and organization. This will provide me with an intensive uh, learning and uh, broaden my experience on the principles and application of leadership and also this will give me an opportunity to exploit the issues and specific characteristics of African leadership and the world in general. What inspire me the most uh, uh, this fellowship program are two key uh, areas. First, the aim and objectives of the program which is to develop a nature uh, uh, leadership across Nigeria with specific focus of promising leaders as well as to create uh, 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 to create a network of high potential young Nigerians who are expected to rise to the top uh, leadership position uh, in the uh, public service uh, as well as to see how we can provide solutions to our leadership problems and to fix those problems within the stipulated time. Uh, this is in line with the agenda of His Excellency, our indefatigable governor of Kaduna State, in the person of Malan Nasur Ahmad Irufaif, for coming up with this initiative, uh, according to what he says, that to raise the next generation of uh, uh, young leaders who will, who will most likely be absorbed uh, into the public service, having, uh, having, having uh, first-hand experience of its working and challenges uh, to also for the youth for we the youth to be prepared to be tested in ways impossible for you to foresee because what is practicable practicable in one situation will not be practicable in another situation uh, god bless Niger kaduna state god bless nigeria thank you hi there my name is Lionel echa i am 34 years old i was given back on january 18th 1904 I am from Cross River State, uh, Bekwara local government of Goja by tribe. Um, if I were to be shortlisted among the interns for KIF, I would love to work with the Ministry for Women Affairs and Social Development, reasons being that for over five years, I have worked for the Center for Peace Advancement in Nigeria as the Monitoring and Evaluation Officer for Sexual and Gender-Based Violence. I have been exposed to most of the trauma and the problems that women go through, and we have been able to work closely with um, the Ministry for Women Affairs here to be able to see how we could meet them halfway. We've worked with FIDA in the organization and so many other um, uh, human rights organizations hoping to see that there's proper reintegration of these women after such cases have occurred and um, to see that they're properly reintegrated into their communities again. As a matter of fact, my most recent work was working with marginalized people and um, I worked on the coping mechanisms of women affected by the indigenous settler conflict in just North Plata State. We know that the after effect of war on women is um, grueling, but we do not even take our time to really want to find out how these women have been coping in the aftermath of the conflict. So my research was to make sure I find out the coping strategies, whether they be maladaptive or adaptive, but we know that um, there would be something that we could actually do a strategy to see that we could work beyond just having um, to build trauma healing centers, but we would see that we would include those women in decision making in the society. What inspires me, I think what inspires me basically is the decision to see people around me progress, especially marginalized people, people who are unable to stand up for themselves, seeing that they have a hope 
and they have the possibility of a promise for a future or providence, whatsoever it is. And that is why I have been in the non-governmental organization um, sector for a while now and functioning to help vulnerable people, which in our category so far has been women and children. Plus, we cannot even discuss the issue of women without discussing children um, in line with that. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, my name is Fatima Kessington. I am 35 years old and I am from Lagos State. The area of government I would like to work in is the area of environment and natural resources. I work with a company that is focused on creating a sustainable venture through beekeeping and I have been able to witness firsthand the direct consequences of harmful man-made activities on our ecosystem. Global warming, deforestation, desertification, pollution, the steady but gradual um, uh, extinction of indigenous flora and fauna are not Western problems. We cannot continue to erroneously believe that ecosystem management is not a collective responsibility. Solutions that are peculiar to our region need to be preferred. Awareness of sustainable environments needs to be massively and urgently propagated, as well as definitive steps taken to bring forth a citizenry that consciously practices respect for conservation and preservation of our environment and natural resources. The earth has been entrusted to us and we will all be held accountable for how we took care of it. To be quite frank, we are in a race against time and we have no choice. What inspires me is a symbolic concept of Japanese art called Kintsukuroi. It means to repair with gold. It is the art of repairing pottery with gold or silver lacquer and understanding that the piece is even more beautiful for having been broken. This is symbolic for people who have gone through tragedy or trauma. They are shattered. And in the process of putting their lives back together and healing, some are transformed. They are set on trajectories that are totally different from the old courses of their lives. There is the opening of different possibilities. There is an awakening of latent abilities. There is a, a discovery of new strengths to face old fears. And in some fantastic instances, there is a forging of extraordinary paths. These are extraordinary people, hidden under a cloak of normalcy. There is a quiet resilience that seeps through the cracks left by pain. They are firmly sealed and repaired, and they are even more beautiful for having been broken. Thank you. Good morning, all protocols daily observed. My name is Abu Bakr Saleh Joji. I hail from Yobi State and I'm 30 years old. If selected for this esteemed program, I would like to work in the education, science and technology area of the government. Because I lived in Russia for seven years, I studied there and I studied in Russian language. I've been exposed to the education sector there in Russia. I've been exposed to a lot of citizens from all over the world who came to Russia to study. I understand their own mentality, their culture and Currently, I'm an academician here at the Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria. So I understand the education sector here in Nigeria. I understand where we are and I know where we ought to be. People like the executive governor of Kaduna State it inspire me through his actions, his efforts in, 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 in ensuring that citizens of Kaduna State and the citizens of Nigeria as a whole attain or receive the best education that any citizen could possibly achieve. When I wake up in the morning and I see the number of out of school children, the number of school dropouts, how our society is, it aches my heart. All these inspire me into wanting to give back to the society what was given to me. Thank you very much. This video is in response to the stage two assessments of the Kashim Ibrahim Fellows program, which requires a three minutes video with the following details. Section one, biodata. My name is Anasani Ali. I am 29 years old and I am from Kaduna South local government of Kaduna State. Section two, if selected for the program, 
working in the education sector, which is Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, will be my preferred sector to serve in. This is because if there is one place that can generate an impact with a universal effect, it is the education sector. The education sector encompasses of infrastructure development, human capital development, policy development, and the coordination of the education system itself, which has both immediate and long-term impact in the society and future generations. I feel that being at the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, with my training in quantity surveying and project management, I stand a better chance to contribute my quota in infrastructure development and policy development in the education sector of Kaduna State. Section 3. My Inspiration My inspiration was drawn from the Kaduna State Special Project Management Team KSPMT program that I was a part of. During the program, I participated in many infrastructure projects, especially those from the education sector. This gave me the privilege to visit quite a number of remote villages and appreciate the fact that most of the schools in those villages are not only in deplorable conditions, but are inadequate and not conducive for educational purposes. It is the known fact that there has been a huge infrastructure deficit in almost all sectors in Nigeria. I was inspired by these facts and saw the innumerable opportunities through the Kashim Ibrahim Fellows Program to both acquire leadership skills and impact, no matter how little, to development of humanity and also help make Kaduna great again. Thank you. Long live Kaduna State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria.